Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content my friends a little reminder if you are trading over on a Bybit with leverage Bitcoin and other cryptos make sure to go and claim your $1,000 in bonus it's a limited offer so make sure that you're taking this free $1,000 if you put a deposit of two Bitcoin you first have to go down here to register to Bybit because you have to get a new account in order to claim this uh, bonus and for everyone that is interested in trading bots make sure that you're trying out bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free with the link down below here in the description with bitscap you can do several things you can let uh, those uh, trading bots work for you on your exchanges like binance coinbase and so on and also you can do arbitrage so definitely go and check it out. I have those bots running now for more than 10 days and they are very profitable wherever the price is going. So make sure that you're trying that out. 14 days you have time uh, for free and afterwards it's only starting for $19 a month if you want to keep your account on Bitscap. So definitely go and check it out. If it's paying out for you then you can upgrade to the monthly plan. And now my friends, let's start with the content. We're gonna start here with the Bitcoin price in the four hour time frame. We are still in our uptrend. We are still above the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. And also we are still above the EMA ribbons. Right now we are seeing a little uh, pullback down to the support of this ascending broadening wedge that we are in right now. In theory, it's a bearish pattern. But I still think that here we have some room left to the upside to go and reach our first target here of around $57,000 to then see if here we are able to see follow through towards $61,000 and maybe even higher or if here we are getting rejected because here this is the first potential big resistance level where all the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame and that's why i think we still have some fuel left to go and test this region up here before we have to decide if we're going to continue our correction phase to the downside and maybe even create lower lows or if this was already the big correction and we are heading again towards new all-time highs so in the four hour time frame, we are a bit in a critical point because we are touching the main support. And if this one is getting lost, there is a very high chance that at least we are coming down to hold $53,000. We have to hold it. Otherwise, the chances are definitely there that we're going to crash all the way back down to $51,000 again to retest this support that after this breakout to the upside uh, isn't tested for now. So that's why the chances are still here that we could come down to test $51,000. But this is really the last chance then for the bulls to kick in because if we're gonna drop below $51,000, I think it's very likely that we're also gonna take out these lows here at around $47,000 and then most likely gonna continue our correction phase. And this was just a little breather. But uh, so far, I'm still pretty confident that here for the short to midterm, we're going to see follow through potential, even create new all time highs. But we first have to see what will happen here at fifty seven thousand dollars. And then, of course, also here at sixty one thousand dollars. So in the four hour time frame, we had here also a sell signal in my own indicator. The only good thing for now is that we are above the 50 level in the RSI. So even if we're going to see a pullback here and we're going to remain above the 50 level in the RSI, I think we here we could see a nice bounce to the upside and also money flow is increasing. So if here we are turning the money flow into positive, then I'm pretty confident that we're going to see follow through at least towards $57,000 and then we're going to see what will happen. Um, because if money flow is back into positive here in the four hour time frame and we are also able to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average, the chances are very high that we're going to see all the explosive moves here to the upside for Bitcoin. 
we can also crack it down into the one hour time frame here we are right at the bottom of the EMA ribbon so we should expect here a bounce to the upside if we're gonna close a one hour candle below fifty four thousand dollars then we definitely are heading again to retest these 53k and potentially also go lower to 51 thousand dollars but the one hour is still okay even though we are also here in a very critical point but if you have a look into my own indicator you can see that we are already oversold in the one hour time frame money flow is still extremely good and also here we could get very soon a buy signal so also here i'm pretty confident that we are about to go up to test potentially this 57k area in the next coming hours if we don't gonna lose the support here of fifty four thousand dollars at the moment and now let's go over to the daily time frame here you can also see that here we got the first uh, problems right at the top of the EMA ribbons I told you my friends that this is going to be a very key level because if we are able to push higher than the EMA ribbon so if we can close a daily candle above $55,700 we definitely are heading towards 57k where also the 20 daily moving average is lining up and then we're gonna see if we are strong enough to push higher in that case then my target is at least 61k maybe even go higher because if we are able to close daily candles above the EMA ribbons and also above the 20 daily moving average we are back in an uptrend here also in the daily time frame so here we are in a very critical point we got a buy signal in the daily time frame but of course we also now want money flow to increase and also to bring the RSI above the 50 level as long as we are below the 50 level we could still get rejected here as you can see right now the RSI is taking a little rejection here from the 50 level so we have to go back above the 50 here in the RSI otherwise the chances are very high that we could come back down at least to test nine daily moving average here at $53,000 and hopefully then not crash lower because in that case this could have been already it this breeder and we're gonna go towards lower levels but uh, since the lower time frames are looking still quite bullish in my opinion we're gonna see here follow through at least towards the 20 daily moving average to test this important the one here so let's see if we're gonna see this 20 daily moving average test in the next coming hours and days and now let's have a look also again into the weekly time frame because uh, as you can see we are still trading below the nine weekly moving average exactly here at $55,500 for now this moving average is giving us resistance here in the weekly so we want to see a weekly close above the nine weekly moving average in in order to have a bullish weekly close and then of course see follow through to the upside but if this weekly close is going to be below the nine weekly moving average in my opinion we are still in a dangerous zone where we easily could get rejected here and see a clear 20 weekly moving average retest here at around forty six thousand dollars so as long as we're closing weekly candles now below the nine weekly moving average we are in danger to go down to test the 20 weekly moving average here at forty six thousand dollars so in the weekly time frame we are a bit in a critical point here also because we had several bearish divergences in the RSI and with the price action but uh, another good thing that you can see here is that we are forming this falling wedge in the RSI in the weekly time frame so if we are able to bring the RSI above this resistance here of 68% then I think we could see an explosive move to the upside because since we cooled off here the RSI we could see a very nice push to the upside towards overbought condition here in the weekly time frame but as long as we are in this falling wedge in the RSI in the weekly time frame the chances are high that here we are getting rejected and we're gonna continue to go lower here within this wedge until then we're gonna see a breakout to the upside or also to the downside if we're gonna lose the support here and then of course also the 50 level Level in the RSI that could lead into a massive correction but if here we could see a nice breakout to the upside from this falling wedge this of course will fire up the price to the upside towards new all-time highs very very easily and even though I still think we have very good chances to see new all-time highs since we have several bullish things in the lower time frames also here in the weekly uh, keep in mind that in the monthly time frame as long as we are below sixty thousand dollars we have a sell signal flashing here and usually in the monthly time frame when we are in such extreme overbought condition and we have confirmed sell signals this one is not yet confirmed but will be confirmed if we're gonna close this monthly candle below 60k 
afterwards we always have seen big sell-offs at least down towards a nine monthly moving average which currently is here at around thirty one thousand dollars so keep that in your radar if this month we're going to close with this confirmed sell signal i think the danger is very high that after this breather that we are seeing right now and maybe create a lower high that we could have a massive sell-off even down towards thirty-one thousand dollars for the worst case because in the monthly time frame every time we were so extremely overbought and we got a confirmed sell signal like here in 2017 Afterwards, we started a big correction at least down towards the nine monthly moving average. And whenever we went below the nine monthly moving average, then we started a prolonged bear market or correction phase. So even if we would see such a sell off, the important thing is that we are not going to drop below the nine monthly moving average because that could be a huge warning sign for us, also for the midterm, at least for the next coming months. And now that we have covered Bitcoin, let's have a look also into the Ethereum price action because Ethereum yesterday had a new all time high. Congratulations to every Ethereum hodler. We had here a nice breakout from this rising wedge to the upside and also confirmed it as a support. But unfortunately, it looks like that we are creating a similar pattern like over on Bitcoin. We have this uh, rising channel, which could potentially end up in an ascending broadening wedge, which usually are bearish patterns and they tend to break out to the downside. But if we're going to remain in this channel, the chance is very high that we could reach our bullish target of around $2,800. I'm pretty confident that with this move, we're going to reach this target, especially if Bitcoin is able to go up towards a 20 daily moving average to test the region between 57 to 61K. Then I think we're going to see also here new all time highs in Ethereum and reach our target of around $2,800. This could be our next potential resistance zone up here. And although, as you can see, we are still in an uptrend here, we are above all the important moving averages. Also, we are above the EMA ribbons. So, even if we would see a crash down towards the 20 moving average here, $2,500, or towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons here of $2,400, we will still remain in our bullish structure here in the four hour time frame. So, everything is still looking extremely bullish here in the four hour. And the same thing goes also here for the daily time frame. We are seeing a little pullback here, but we're still far away from the EMA ribbons and also from the important moving averages like the nine daily moving average here $2,400 and even here the 20 daily at $2,330. So Ethereum could even correct down to those levels and we will still remain on our bullish structure here in the daily time frame for Ethereum. Everything is looking extremely bullish here and I think we're going to continue to stay within this rising channel here for these next coming days, weeks and months here for Ethereum at least as long as Bitcoin is going sideways or to the upside. So we also, of course, have to keep an eye on Bitcoin because if Bitcoin is taking a big dump, then of course it will take down all the altcoins, all the Ethereum, no matter how bullish the chart is looking like. So that's why we always have to keep a very close eye on what Bitcoin is uh, doing. But based here on the chart for Ethereum, everything is looking extremely bullish and we should expect your continuation to the upside. Although yesterday I told you, my friends, that in the monthly time frame we are also quite overbought and exhausted, but uh, we have still no uh, signs that we could be topping out here anytime soon. There is no sell signal flashing, all the money flow is still increasing, so everything is still looking extremely bullish here for Ethereum. And that's why I think uh, Ethereum could outperform uh, Bitcoin in, in this next coming days as long as the Bitcoin dominance is going to stay here at around 50% or even drop lower because this 50% uh, is a very, very key level for the Bitcoin dominance and we are very oversold here. So that means that we could expect here anytime soon a big bounce to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance. And then, of course, we should expect that Bitcoin will outperform all the other altcoins. But if here we are not seeing uh, a reversal or if here we're going to continue to go sideways, then we definitely going to see the altcoins outperform Bitcoin, even if Bitcoin could reach 60K or even new all time highs. 
but this region here at 50% I'm expecting a huge bounce to the upside in the past this level here also acted always as a very strong support or resistance level and since we crashed down here and we are completely oversold here at least at 50% I'm expecting a bounce to the upside even though it could be a short-lived one but here at 50% I'm expecting a bounce in Bitcoin dominance and that would mean that the show would go back to Bitcoin because right now I think that Ethereum is leading and usually Bitcoin will catch up with the Ethereum price with its performance after a while especially when we have a big bounce in the Bitcoin dominance. So let's see what will happen in the next coming days. Anyway, I'm very bullish for both Bitcoin and Ethereum, but uh, we're gonna have to see what Bitcoin will do. If we are able to create new all-time highs, we're definitely gonna continue our parabolic uh, bull market and we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside. But if we're gonna create a lower high in the daily time frame, be prepared that we could be in a massive uh, correction for these next coming weeks and months before then we take off again towards new levels. And we can also have a quick look into the DXY because as you can see, we have now another attempt to break here the 100 daily moving average. We are testing again this important moving average and also here, since we are very oversold, there is a high chance that we could go up here to retest the 20 daily moving average at around $92. Also the 200 daily moving average is up here. But uh, since we are here in a downtrend, uh, I still think that we most likely going to stay within this range here of 91 to 90 dollars before then maybe we're going to have um, a big bounce to the upside, which could be dangerous for the crypto and stock market, of course. And talking about stock market, let's have a look into Nasdaq because Nasdaq is still struggling here to push higher than $14,000, but I'm still pretty bullish here for Nasdaq. We are still above all the important moving averages here in the daily time frame. And if here we're gonna stay within this ascending triangle, we should expect a breakout to the upside in early May, in my opinion. So that of course could be also very much in favor for the Bitcoin price as well. So with that said guys, we're gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my links down below here in the description because if you sign up to those recommended exchanges that I'm also using, you will get some extra money and some extra bonus, especially if you're new in the crypto space and you're buying for the first time cryptos over on Coinbase, Swissborg, Binance and so on, you will get some more benefits in some exchanges you also get some money if you do a first purchase and also check out crypto.com because here you can also get a free debit card where you can spend your cryptos if you are using my referral link to sign up to this crypto exchange. And also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, click on this invitation link and then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And also if you want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to the indicator. Otherwise, just get a YouTube membership like this. You also have free access to the indicator over on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.